So I just got finished eating my dinner, so let's go feed the pets. All right, first let's feed the cats. So my cats are fed on a raw diet and I feed them the Naturals raw food brand. It is the turkey and beef and I just personally really like this brand. They do the 80-10-10 ratios, which I personally like for cats and they've been doing really, really well on it. <laughs> this is why I don't make their food over here. Guys, <laughs> and you. So it's pretty simple. I just weigh out their food on a kitchen scale. Each of their amounts is a little bit different and they get fed twice a day, once in the morning and then once in the evening. Jump up here. Sit nicely. So in the evening, I actually add on this plaque off powder. I'm not a huge fan of this. I have not seen it do anything for their teeth. So I'm just gonna finish up the bottle and I'm probably not going to use it again. And then we just mash up their food. In the mornings, I'll just add on this slippery elm powder. And basically, this is really just a three in one. It'll help with vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation. And I just like it as a preventative because one time Sadie was eating JJ's hair and it caused her to just be a mess. So I've been feeding this ever since and it's really helpful. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right, next we have the rabbits to feed. So I'm going to be making their daily salad. So we've got a lot of different things here. We have some field greens. I have some parsley, some kale some cilantro, green leaf lettuce, red leaf lettuce, and then I have some carrot tops for them. Their veggies rotate, so this is not something that they're gonna be eating every single day for the rest of their life. Like parsley, this is the first time I'm buying parsley in a really long time. And the field greens, that's not a whole bunch that is being added in, and then same with kale. Um, I haven't bought that in a while. While I'm making the rabbit salad, I'm also just gonna make the hamsters a little one. So first off, we have to rinse all the veg. Just gonna pat down some of this stuff because it is... Look at this tiny carrot. <laughs> Here we go. Quick interruption, I just wanted to tell you about our sponsor, Base Paws. Base Paws is a cat DNA test that allows you to learn more about your cat's breeds, which can tell you more about their temperament, personality, traits, and hereditary genetic health conditions. When I tested JJ and Sadie, I was really curious to know what breed groups they'd be a part of because of where they came from. Sadie is 75% Western with Maine Coon being the highest breed, which explains a lot of her weird behaviors, like how vocal she is. I also felt a lot of relief to know neither of the cats are carriers of any genetic health conditions, but this feature can help other cat owners be proactive if their cat is a carrier of any. Now back to the video. <laughs> you ready? Here you go.
All right, and the other little ones are ready. <laughs> Careful, hun, for their veg. Here you go. Somebody else is ready for his veg. So the hamsters don't get salads every single day. They get it about two to three times a week. And usually it's the same or close to the same vegetables as the rabbits get. So along with fresh leafy greens, my rabbits have 24 seven access to Timothy hay or sometimes I'll give them orchard grass hay, but they personally tend to like the Timothy hay just a little bit better. And also another thing that I recently started feeding my rabbits, well, more so Lola, my senior rabbit, she's estimated to be seven years old and she has been having a hard time keeping her weight on. I've tried a couple of different methods to helping Lola keep her weight on or gain a little bit more weight, one including feeding her critical care, which she was loving for the first little bit, and then she decided she absolutely hated critical care, so that was a no-no. And then I went ahead and tried pellets. I know there's a lot of people who feed their pe rabbits pellets all of the time. I've personally never been a fan of pellets, and I went ahead and tried it again, and uh, this just confirms <laughs> I'm not a fan of pellets. I basically started feeding them the smallest amount of pellets, I think it was like a tablespoon, and every week both of the rabbits were going into GI stasis and I was having to give them meds. So I immediately cut that out, that was not happening. So instead, something that's been really, really helping Lola is feeding just whole oats. Uh, I give her about two tablespoons. Cleo does end up eating a little bit, but <laughs> I mainly try to give it to Lola. Hey! Oh, look at you! Oh, it's you love them, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Now, I would not be feeding Lola oats if she was not having any weight issues, but she is, and these are what has been helping her keep her weight up and keep it steady. I've also not had any health issues with them eating the oats, and if you wanna feed your rabbit oats, please speak to your vet first. This is not medical advice or ways to get your rabbit to gain weight. I'm just showing you what I feed my rabbits, and this is what happens to be one of the things I feed Lola. Now what I do feed my hamsters is my own homemade Hamster seed mix. Hey, you struggling? You're on like the struggle bus here. They get one of these scoops. Don't ask me how much the scoop is. I don't know measurement wise. I stole it from my coffee maker, but I've uh, measured it out and it's about 12 grams of food. So I give this to them daily. And I will scatter feed their food so that it gives them enrichment and it keeps them busy. A lot of the times I'll get questions, well, if I'm scatter feeding my hamster their food, how do I know that they're getting enough food? And my answer really is you should be feeding your hamster enough varieties of different types of food that there's never a chance that they're gonna end up starving. I scatter feed my hamsters their seed mix. I give them veggies two to three times a week. 
I give them treats, of course. They also get sprays and herbs inside of their enclosure. So they pretty much have an abundance of food all of the time. And of course, all of the animals get fresh water daily. So that is it for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!